96 degrees, that's way too much. It's way too wide. That'll provide a very dry box in here, but it will be, um, uh, it's not flowing enough refrigerant through the system. And you can see that it's restricting. You're only, your feet getting frost on the first rung of the, uh, get an even distribution across the uh, evaporator. You should get condensation all the way across. It would be a good sign that you're getting an even feeding. So what I did is I took the cap off the expansion valve and let's see if this valve is adjustable. Sometimes they just they just go bad and they got to be changed. But clockwise would increase the superheat, which we don't want. It's too high right now. I want to lower it. So I'm going to go counterclockwise for four little quarter turns and we're going to see what we get. Now what we did was we opened the valve up fundamentally and we're letting more refrigerant flow through it. runs at a 20 degree evaporator temp and if you're running 45 degree evaporator temp you want to um, <laughs> you don't want your compressor to overheat if you're not getting enough refrigerant back in the suction line because your superheat is too high your compressor is going to run real hot piston sleeves are going to be very hot and it's going to uh, overheat the motor 
and you overheat it enough or run it hot long enough, you lose the compressor. You, you wear out the uh, metal components in the compressor with high heat tension. So you, you want the superheat to be correct. So now I'm down to 18 degrees, which is pretty is getting closer. This it, this is a walk-in walk-in beer cooler, and there's a lot of cardboard in here. You don't want it very humid in here. If this you want a a, a temperature difference of around 15 degrees. That'll keep it cold and dry. If this was a pizza cooler, you want it cold and damp. You want to see your breath. That's very good for pizza dough or for meat or for produce. You want it very damp. But uh, So you would want a 10 degree temperature difference. You'd open your valve up until you got a 10 degree. For, for pizza, dough, beer, I mean, pizza, dough, and meat, and produce, that's what you want. It's, my, it's going up a little bit, so I wanna, I'm gonna open this up. I want a 15 degrees, at least a 15 degree uh, TV on this. Since I opened the expand, the, the valve was closed off. And when the valve's closed off, it'll back the refrigerant up to the sight glass, and the sight glass will show full. So now that I opened it up, the sight glass is probably showing a lot of bubbles, and will take more refrigerant in the system. And because I opened it up, I'm absorbing more heat. And uh, going back to the, uh, the refrigerant, going back to the compressors, carrying more B2s of heat with it. So it's going to um, raise the head pressure quite a bit. See, now my superheat is down a little bit too cold. So I'm going to just put the brakes on a little bit and get it back. Get it back to the future. This is Cleveland. Everybody's pretty happy today in Cleveland. Whenever one of our sports teams wins a game, everybody is in a good mood. They pay their bills better, you know, the service calls come in. Everybody is just happier. And uh, the Cavs made it into the NBA Finals last night. The, uh, the slang, the <laughs> Kids in a hood in Cleveland have been calling Cleveland the land. So there's happiness in the land right now. It ought to be interesting. I hope everybody plays fairly. outside and check the refrigerator now. 